Hey, Rithik here with an interesting news from GitHub. GitHub to release its CLI for all of the developer community. It's no longer in beta and I am hooked into the features it provides. Let's start with the limitation of Git. It's just a version control system but GitHub is much more than that. Issues are created and resolved. Software builds are released and I can just continue the list. The problem? You need to open the browser or application to investigate issues and create builds. CLI 1.0 takes care of everything from small authentication requests from the GitHub API to creating builds. Don't worry much about this, we will investigate the following in the later part of the video. For now, let's jump into the Windows installation and authentication part. You can use Chocolately to install the following thing or let's use the best one, download and install option. Go to the cli.github.com link or click on the first link in the description box. Let's download the MSI file from the following download option. Open the file from download location, click on next and agree to the terms and conditions. Who reads them even? Next and finish. It's dissolved. Now let's open the command prompt or PowerShell or the mighty Windows terminal. Type gh. Here comes the confirmation that it's working. The command line is working for you right now. Now let's authenticate so that we can access our accounts. Type gh auth login and press enter. Select github.com and the option and press enter. Use login with web browser, it's easy and simple from the another option. Press enter and copy the one time code, we will need this just in a moment. Press enter and your browser will open, sign in your github if it's not already signed in and paste the code. Click on continue, authorize and re-enter the password for the verification. Check the terminal, we are all set now. You just need to select the transfer protocol for the following stuffs. So I believe SHS is, is the best way to go always. Click enter and we are done. We are logged in right now in our GitHub account. So let's get our hands dirty on how to use this CLI. A thought just popped into my head. Can I just get you as a subscriber? Consider this as a proposal. We will look into two special commands. The first one is repo view, in which if we use that, we can see the description of the repository alongside the link and also the name and description. This is helpful to just look and get an insight about everything happening in the repo because the markdown represents everything in the repo. This is the user one to show. Secondly, the issue list shows us the number of issues in the following repo alongside the most recent ones and how many what's the what's the issue like and everything else regarding that. So there are many commands like that which you can just read into the documentation or I can make a video regarding that. You can just check you can just comment the following thing and I will make a video regarding that. So the documentation is a very nice documentation. Best art to speak and you can just always refer that. If you more videos like this can be created by your support, please subscribe to the following channel and like and share the video to your friends. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching this video.